The bottom line is we need to create in our youth, our young children, uh, warm hearts. I'm very excited that uh, the, uh, the, found, the founding of the Dalai Lama Center in 2005, on September the 21st, coincides with the International Day of Peace. We are very much used to, uh, you know, listening to politicians. We are listening to uh, celebrities on TV talking and so on. Uh, to have uh, a breath of fresh air coming from the Dalai Lama, who we'll talk about a whole different thing. Um, that was uh, quite an eye opener. For me, the key moment was not so much that he was uh, having this dialogue with these uh, bold faced names, but rather that uh, he had the opportunity to have a uh, conversation with six young people. And the key uh, feature, I would say, uh, the whole orientation of that gathering of his three or four days in Vancouver was under the rubric of how to balance educating the mind with educating the heart. So right from the beginning of his first visit to Vancouver in 2004, educating the heart has been a very much key theme. And that is a theme that ran through in 2006, 2009, and the last time 2014 until now. So educating the heart, to create uh, uh, in young people a sense of uh, empathy, uh, a sense of uh, compassion, a sense of regard for other people, to be of service to others, to be less uh, narcissistic, for example. That has always been the dominant theme uh, of the Dalai Lama and, uh, and of course, with the Dalai Lama Center. When the event was finished uh, and I traveled with him to uh, the airport, uh, I had this sense of uh, vacuum, you know, a sense of withdrawal. So what are we going to do? We have the, all this energy that has been catalyzed. So uh, the, the penny dropped during the car ride to the uh, uh, airport. And I said to him, Your Holiness, you know, uh, it has been an amazing event. Uh, people really uh, get the idea of the importance of educating the heart, that uh, social and emotional intelligence, they are every bit as important as uh, formal schooling. So how are we able to continue uh, this momentum that you have started? So I basically pitched the idea that we need to create a center here, Your Holiness, and I would be terribly grateful if we can use your name and call it the Dalai Lama Center for peace and education.